this next one we have um, uh, 3 times 2 times 7 minus 2 times 6 plus 2 equals 6 times 4x. What is the value of x? So uh, the first thing we need to do is remember the order of operations when you're doing math, which is PEMDAS. And it stands for, the order of operations is the order, if you have a, a more complicated problem, well, any problem, it's the order that you should go about solving it. So the first things you want to do is the parentheses, what's inside the parentheses. I don't even know if I can spell it right. Parentheses. I don't know. But the little arches, little parentheses. Next is the exponents. Exponents. And if there's a number and it has a little number on top there, that's an exponent. Next is multiplication. Multiply. Multiply. D is for divide. Divide. A is for add or addition. S is for subtract. So for this problem, the first thing we have is parentheses, and inside the parentheses we have different order, different operations as well. So we have some multiplication, some addition, subtraction, multiplication, and then we have something multiplication outside of the parentheses. So the first thing you want to do is see here parentheses, no exponents, and then we have multiplication. So go through, do the multiplication. 3 times 2 is 6. Other multiplication inside the parentheses is 6 times 4 is 24. So I'm going to rewrite this down here. 3 times 2, 7 minus 2, 6 plus 2 equals parentheses 6 times 4x. So we did the multiplication here and we did the multiplication here. So we have 6 times 7 minus 2 times 6 plus 2 equals we have here 24x now. And now we gotta do what's inside the parentheses what's left inside the parentheses. Next thing down the list, uh, there's no division, so we have add. Adding what's inside the parentheses. We have six plus two is eight. And then we have subtraction, seven minus two is five. So all these things are getting multiplied. Equals 24x. So we have six and then when you have all the same functions, all the same um, operations, then you just work your way across or do whatever is simplest for you. So we do 6 times 5 is 30 times 8 equals 24x. And 30 times 8, we'll do over here. 8 times 0 is 0. 8 times 3 is 24. So we have 240 equals 24x and then we have to solve for x so we divide both sides by 24 divide by 24 um, the simple way to do this is to know that because um, this these are the same they have the same first two numbers here and then there's a zero so this would basically mean one and you bring down the zero so it'll be 2, but we can do it the old school division way as well. We have 24, or 240 divided by 24, and in case my memory runs out, that 10 there is answer C. And, but we'll do the division over here, 
24 goes into 2 0 times 24 goes into 24 one time 1 times 24 is 24 0 bring down the 0 24 goes into 0 0 times 0 0 0 0 the answer would be 10 once again that is C all right thanks a lot like subscribe share bye